वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 8-24 एंड 8-25 दैट इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 8 कंबाइन लोडिंग एंड द बुक इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द बेरिंग पिन सपोर्ट्स द लोड ऑफ 700 हंड्रेड पाउंड डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेस कंपोनेंट इन द सपोर्ट मेंबर एट पॉइंट ए द सपोर्ट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव थिक एंड इन एट डैश डिटरमाइन द सपोर्ट स्ट्रेस कंपोनेंट इन सपोर्ट मेंबर एट पॉइंट बी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बेरिंग पिन दैट सपोर्ट्स 700 पाउंड फोर्स सो यू हैव टू डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेस कंपोनेंट एट पॉइंट ए एंड एट पॉइंट बी द थिकनेस डाउनवर्ड इज शोन ओवर हेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज पॉइंट ए दिस इज पॉइंट बी एंड इन इन साइड दिस स्क्रीन you can see the thickness is 0.5 inch so let's start with the solution so first step is that uh, you can see if you cut this beam over uh, ab so you will be having a shear force clear which will be in this direction let this is v and when there will be a normal force along this axis and this will be equal to n and there will be a moment as well m this moment is equal to m now you can see that uh, uh, this line is perpendicular to this surface and this line is perpendicular to this axis if we draw so this angle will be also 30 degree so i will draw it 30 degree perpendicular line from this it will be this this will be 30 degree as well similarly if you take the parallel of this axis at this point so this will be also 30 degree so again i will zoom it out and we will take a parallel line to this so this will be 30 degree now our normal forces are in this direction and shear forces are in this direction so we will take this as new coordinate x dash and this will be equal to y dash so you can see that this member 7 700 pound will have two component one along x dash direction and other one is along y dash direction so this is f y dash and this is f x dash so we'll first find x f x dash so cos of theta is equal to base which is fx dash divided by hypotenuse that is 700 so this fx dash will be equal to 700 into cos of theta which is 30 degree and fy dash will be equal to 700 into sin of 30 degree because when you take sin of theta so theta are 30 degree this is theta so it will be equal to fy dash over 700 so from here you will get fy dash will be equal to 700 now we'll apply equation of equilibrium the first equation of equilibrium will be sum of all forces along x dash direction must be equal to 0 and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see one force is this one which is normal force and other one is this fx dash their sum must be equal to 0 so n minus 700 fx dash is 700 cos of 30 degree is equal to 0 so from here you will get n will be equal to 700 into cos of 30 degree so n will be equal to after calculation it will be 606.218 pounds so this is the normal force acting along the axis or axial force now you will find sum of all forces along y dash direction must be equal to 0 and force taken in y dash direction is taken as positive so you can see one force along y dash is this v which is upward so it will be minus v and the second one is downward which is fy dash their sum must be equal to 0 so minus v plus fy dash so fy dash is 700 into sin of 30 degree so it means that their sum must be equal to 0 
for equilibrium for equilibrium condition so it means that this v is equal to 700 into sine of 30 degree and we will get v is equal to v is the shear force and that is equal to 350 pounds now you have this n and v so we will find moment so for moment we will write let this point is point o so sum of all moments about point o is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about this point o one moment is this one which is counterclockwise so it will be positive so m the second moment if i zoom it so and draw a vertical line from this 700 force let me zoom it if i draw a vertical line from this so it will be like this now you can see that this is the distance this is the perpendicular distance into this 700 force which will produce a clockwise rotation our moment in this about this point o so how you will find this distance let me tell you as you can see this distance is two me two inch so this distance will be equal to if you take sine of 30 so sine of 30 let this distance is x so sine of 30 will be equal to x divided by 2 so x will be equal to 2 sine of 30 since you can see this total distance is 1.25 inch this is 1.25 inch so the remaining this distance will be equal to 1.25 minus x so 1.25 minus 2 into sine of 30 will be this perpendicular distance this distance this will be again this force into this perpendicular distance will produce counter -clock clockwise rotation in this direction so i will write it that minus minus 700 into 1.25 minus 2 into sine of 30 degree will be equal to zero so when you calculate it you will get movements comes out to be 175 pounds into inch now you have this movement and this is a case of combined loading combined loading how let me tell you this you can see you have a axial stress uh, axial force n and you will have a movement that is uh, that is also producing bending stress so one stress bend and one a normal stress is due to this axial load and other stress will be due to this bending so we will write it sigma will be equal to n by a plus minus m into y divided by i in first part we have to find the stress components at a so what we will do is that this is point a you can see you have a movement like this clear so you can see that upper one will be uh, upper one will be in compression and lower one will be in tension so sigma a will be equal to is in compression so n a n over a and this is compressive stress minus m y divided by i so put the value n is 606.218 divided by area you can see that cross section is given as 0 0.75 multiplied by 0 0.5 so i will write it 0 0.75 multiply by 0 0.5 minus moment is 175 divided by i is 1 over 12 bh cube so 1 over 12 b is 0 0.5 and height is our thickness is 0 0.75 so 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.75 
whole q and what will be the y so, so if this if we take this as a neutral axis so y will be equal to distance from neutral axis till point a which is equal to 0 0.75 divided by 2 and that is equal to 0 0.375 so when you solve this you will get bending uh, normal stress at point a comes out to be minus 212 uh, sorry minus 2.2.1 2 ksi also we will find shear stress at point a so we know that shear stress is equal to v into q a divided by i into t so if this is the cross section that is shown this is the 0 0.5 thickness and this is height which is 0 0.75 and this is point a and this is its neutral axis so you can see there is no area about point a so q a which is equal to y dash bar into a dash since a dash is equal to zero so q a will be equal to zero so if this q a is equal to zero so we know we know that then shear stress at point a will be equal to zero so this is the state of stress or stresses at st stress components at point A. Now we will move toward uh, second part or uh, the second question that is 8.25. So 8.25. Again, all the things you can see that the point B is in tension. So stress at point B will be equal to N by A plus M into Y divided by I. So put the value 606.218 divided by zero area which is 0 0.75 into 0 0.5 plus moment is 175 and you can see that this is point B. So B is uh, the distance from neutral axis till B is 0 0.1, 0 0.75 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.375 divided by i which is 1 over 12 0 0.5 into height is 0 0.75 whole cube okay so when you solve this you will get bending uh, normal stresses at point b comes out to be 5.35 ksi now what about the shear stress at point b so shear stress at point b is equal to v into qb divided by i into t and you can see this is a point b so q b is equal to y dash bar into a dash so there is no area about 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 the b or below the b so y a dash is equal to zero it's mean that q b which is equal to y dash bar into a dash will be equal to zero so this will be also equal to zero since i will write since qb is equal to zero so sharing stress at point b is equal to zero and these are the stress components at point b so the answer of 8.24 is this one while answer of 8.25 is this one and that was all about this problem 8-24 and 25 i hope you have enjoyed this video i have uh, given all the links of a uh, different playlist of this uh, uh, mechanics of material by rc hibbler ch in, as in chapter wise so you can go and you can click on your desired chapter link and you can watch all the problem related to that chapter if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.